everybody Andy here again um, I just watched a video the other day, I can't remember exactly what the video was but uh, something that caught my attention while I was watching it was a comment at the end and a uh, comment basically was saying is that why is it all you people on YouTube all you ever do, all you ever talk about, all you ever do videos about is YouTube itself and this supposed community uh, of YouTube and this person was saying basically they didn't think that that's what YouTube was, was made for in the first place, didn't think that that's what it was set out to be. Um, got me thinking actually, so it's, it's a very valid point actually because I know for myself, I'm sure most people are the same, but I've done several videos actually about aspects of YouTube, whether it be some of the sort of more recent controversies that have happened on YouTube itself. Like this week we've been, to, lots of people have been talking about um, problems with some of the accounts and some of the subscribers maybe not quite being quite as genuine or um, maybe a bit inflated of what they should actually be, that sort of thing, the lonely girl thing that happened a month or so ago, that type of uh, aspect as well. And there's been other smaller issues I suppose like sort of ageism and uh, inappropriate comments uh, and the way that things are run etc etc, I could go on I suppose. But um, So we do do that thinking about it, we do do it quite a lot, so, but why do we do it? Um, why do we constantly talk about the site itself? Um, Personally, uh, just purely my opinion, um, but I, I think it's probably because we all feel uh, a part of it, don't we? Uh, any community you have to feel part of, I suppose. So I do believe there is a type of community out there, um, whether it's uh, for everybody's taste, I don't know, whether it's a particular age group of people who feel that that community exists, whether it's sort of the my age group and the slightly older people, I suppose, the middle-aged people, if you want to call it that, that feel that. Um, I'd be interested to know whether sort of the younger people, especially some of the very younger people, the sort of teenagers, etc., who use this site, whether they feel that uh, there is a community aspect to it, and if indeed they feel that way, if they feel part of it. Um, because any community, you, know, you have to feel part of it to be involved, I suppose, uh, in any sort of meaningful way. But um, I think that's the reason we all feel part of it. We're all putting our videos up. Um, we feel a sort of slight ownership, I suppose, of the site itself, because as lots of people have pointed out, and I probably have done myself before, is that um, without the users, without the people like myself and all you other hundreds of thousands of people out there putting up videos, there wouldn't be a site, would there? Well, it might be a site, but it certainly wouldn't be as successful as what it is. It wouldn't be as diverse, as creative, entertaining, whatever, as it is, because um, it's not just the blogs. That, I mean, I must admit, I tend to probably watch more of the blogs and that type of thing um, than a lot of the other videos, but I still watch what could be classed as entertainment videos. I like some of the director's videos, the um, the more unique things, uh, the more interesting things. Um, some great people out there making some excellent videos, and maybe that's another reason. Is that as other people have pointed out, it's better than TV. Is uh, YouTube? You've got people here who possibly should be on mainstream television who would would never have got the exposure if it hadn't been for a site like this, allowing them to expose themselves, or want of a better expression, uh, to the world, um, making their own videos. And as I said, they're just as good. So. That's, that maybe is a sort of a secretive thing as well. Communities like to be sort of slightly secretive. I know it's um, a very, very popular site, but uh, I still think we're in a minority. A lot of people out there don't know much about YouTube, especially over here in the UK, I think. Um, it, it appears to be uh, bigger in America. Maybe that's just because of the population's bigger, I don't know. I'm sure that's what it is. Percentage-wise, it's probably not that dissimilar. But uh, as I said, that's, that's my feeling on it. I think that we... Um, we feel ownership, we feel involved, so um, that's why we feel part of this community and we're sort of passionate about it, we like it, that's why we talk about aspects of it, whether it be the controversial subjects, um, we want to see things stay like, as they are, I mean we've got recent takeover obviously which is a, another hot topic of conversation, which way things are going, um, especially with the copyrighted material I saw on the news today about the, um, I think it's a European member of parliament was uh, it's stressing the need for Google to get a hold on the, um, the copyrighted material that's on here. So I can see a big change coming in, in that respect. I don't think that's going to impact on the ordinary user, but will we still be able to put little bits of music that weren't original um, over the backs of our videos? Um, I did a video about uh, music, uh, the soundtrack of my life, about all the music that, I, that influenced me throughout my uh, years. Um, would I be able to do that in the future? I don't know. That's <laughs> that's something uh, which I'm sure we should be finding out soon. But that's straying slightly off the point. But um, as I said, I think because we, we care so much, that's why we do these type of videos. Not for any other reason. I suppose it's an easy thing to talk about. 
lots of people like to go on there and philosophise, talk about other subjects that are personal to them, their history of course, we've had quite a lot of that recently, their life's experiences, sharing them with other people and you know, sharing things is good, talk to people, it helps isn't it, so all that type of thing as well, so that's, that's all good, um, as I said the ownership thing, but I think also because we've all grown to know people across the world, uh, or feel that we've grown to know them by watching their videos, I know people sort of send messages privately etc and possibly creative friendships as well by by YouTube but I know I've got subscribers not many but there are a few out there somewhere right across the world I think there's one in New Zealand um, yeah, obviously here in the UK in America I subscribe to people right across the world from Tasmania they're all blunty down there right across to America and Europe as well so uh, people I never would have seen before very talented people, the majority of them as well, very interesting people, got a lot to say, so that's another thing, I think you, um, you're spreading the world, making the world a smaller place, but that's, that's uh, another subject I may well come back to another time, but I'll be interested to know what other people think, do we talk about it too much, um, what do you think, does it matter, you know, uh, I think another reason we do it is we want to see the site improve, we want to see it um, stay as we'd like it to be change is always possibly a good thing and nobody likes change sometimes but uh, as things evolve I noticed today on the site um, the home page and the way that it's laid out etc it's changed slightly whether that's uh, due to what people have been saying recently I don't know but that's another thing people do lots of videos about uh, how they'd like to see things alter they rant and they rave about aspects of it that they don't like um, I saw a great one from Blunty the other day I thought he was going to explode <laughs> about some of these uh, uh, as I said, some of these accounts that people have got and the, the way the subscribers are going up, etc. But I mentioned that earlier. But uh, rounding off the point a bit, I'll tie that up now. But I'll be interested to know what anybody else thinks. Do we talk about ourselves? Do we talk about the site too much? I personally don't think we do. You can always ignore them as any other video, can't we? But I'm uh, interested for your point of view. Anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for taking the trouble to watch. I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.